Hello, my Crestus lovers. How are you? I have decided from now on that this channel is gonna be my my journal. You know, just speaking about stuff about my life. You know. So today we're gonna speak about something that I realized and I decided to change. I have decided to change the way I see and I act for relationships, like love relationships. Because I still remember the way I used to act. I realized the bullshit I was doing only in 2021. That's really sad, but let me explain to you. Okay, so for five years, I've been in love with one guy. And I think the guy knew that I was in love with him. But he was actually just playing with me, like playing hot and cold and cold and hot and hot and cold and cold and hot and hot and cold and cold and hot, you know. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, right, because I was still running after him, let's be honest, I was running after him. I was like, maybe I'm, I'm not really clear, maybe I'm not saying enough information, maybe he's not able to understand what I'm saying. Anyway, and he was like one year older than me. He was really cute, let's be honest. But he wasn't that cute. I'm more cute than him, let's be honest. I'm a premium, you know what I mean? And I was running after him for five years. Do you realize how long it is, five years? Even my mom used to know him because I was speaking about him so much. I was cute. I was, I used to have still a lot of hope about human beings. And then I have discovered that he was dating one of my, one of the girls who used to be my friend, who was supposed to be my friend. And she knew I had feelings for this dumbass. Actually, all the school used to know that I had feelings for this dumbass. Anyway, and at that moment, I realized that I was the stupid girl of the school. Like, everybody knew that the guy was dating my friend and nobody told me. So I was really, really feeling sad. And at that moment, I did the bullshit. So the bullshit wasn't before. The bullshit is right now. I felt so dumb. I felt so bad. I felt so stupid that I decided to date only guys I didn't have feelings for. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes, dummy for the year 2020 and years before. I was only dating guys that I knew I would never have deep feelings for because I knew deep inside I didn't li like the thing they used to say, even about women or in general, they were not funny or things like that. So, And I was still dating them because I was like, at least he's kind of cute. But I knew I would never have feelings, so even if it was over, I would not feel sad in any way. And every time I had feelings for a guy, I was doing self-sabotage anyway. Like managing and do stuff so that I'm sure the guy will never see me as a girl or as a, something else than a friend. Or, or even seeing me as a decent human being. Because, I mean, I was still doing strange stuff. You already know my channel, so you know. People are not used to see girls acting some kind of way. If you're not girly enough, if you're not some kind of way, it's already more hard for you to seduce a guy. But I was doing all the bullshit you're not supposed to do so that the guy will never see me. And then I was so sad, like, I don't understand why he's not able to accept me the way I am. Like, from the beginning, I just wanted the guy not to look at me and even sometimes i was so mean to the guy i was so mean i was like you don't even exist and then when i was home i was like i'm so stupid i love him so much oh my god why am i like this why am i like this yeah and i mean that was sad let's be honest it's sad to live like this because just because you have been hurt one time you're so scared to be hurt again so you create stupid situation because you create frustration first of all second of all you can hurt the feelings of the, the, the partner maybe the guy loves you actually but you don't give him a chance because i mean you go in a relationship thinking about the moment it's gonna be over anyway and also and also you will have like frustration i was like oh, i'm so frustrated because i was not even physically attracted to most of them like at least one i was attracted a little bit he was cute but most of them i was like yeah and even that i mean i'm demisexual so i don't even care if you're cute or not but they were like okay i guess but you see what I mean? When you're in a relationship, you're supposed to do some stuff with your partner and stuff. And it was never a pleasure. I was forcing myself to do all those things. And that's really sad, actually. And yeah, and I realized that now. I realized that all the problems started with that dumbass. I was so sure that other guys will do the same thing to me, like playing me. So I stopped, right? 
And let me tell you what happened since then. Like, since then, I stopped doing the bullshit, okay? And I started on my... I focused on myself, like, just enjoying life. Like, not looking for any relationship. I'm just trying to work on myself first, you know? Because, I mean, I already know I have some problems. So, let's work on that first. And then, when I feel ready and better, then I will be in a relationship. But I'm not gonna look for a relationship when I know I'm still, like mentally unstable yeah not unstable but you know what i mean yeah that dumbass tried to contact me <laughs> yeah because for him now i look attractive i wasn't at the time and he said to me yeah you were a baby girl now you're a woman and i'm interested but the guy has two children and he used to have a wife <sighs> do i look like a side chicken for you do i really look like i share I don't think so. If I want something, I take it. I have it. I don't share. Thank you. And anyway, I wasn't interested anymore. I was so pissed about him. But I still saw him. I just wanted to speak to him because he was a funny guy. Yeah, you know, the kind of person you're always laughing when you're around them. You know what I mean? So speaking to him is funny. But I was like, that will never happen, baby. Ever. Never, never, never. Never, 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 never. And don't say to me, never say never. In that case, it's never. So for me, now I decided I will not run away from pain anymore because i mean that's part of the experience as a human being anyway so yeah if tomorrow i meet someone and he's cute and i'm interested i'm not try i'm not gonna try to push him away first of all i'm not gonna try to run away either i will try just to know the person because that was what i was doing until now so what was the point i don't understand myself like i don't understand i'm not even able to explain to you why i was doing that but i was doing it i was so scared anyway so that's the thing i'm going to change for 2021 like just stopping bullshitting around like just accepting the fact that okay i'm attracted to this person maybe just let's learn about them you know because like i said i'm demisexual so i can't actually be only physically attracted to people i need to know you to want more from you than friendship so i have to be your friend first so yeah and yeah that's one of the thing like being more open to anything and any type of people also because i used to be like i only date cameroonian guys stupid i know now i'm more open i'm like human beings in general <laughs> men because i'm more attracted to men i mean women are beautiful but um that's not my type of thing i'm so sad about that because when i see them they are so gorgeous so beautiful and most of the time, the people who actually come to speak to me because they are interested in me are women. But men, I mean men, that's my problem right now. But still, that's really strange to me now. Like, now that I realize what I was doing until now, I'm like, yeah, next time I will do my best and not try to destroy anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I have so many things to change this year and I will try to practice again like modeling I want to go back to modeling I used to do that when I was younger that was very funny I will try to do that again so maybe I will create an Instagram account just for that I don't know and I have like weight to lose because with coronavirus I took like 12 kilos so I have to lose that and then after that I will try to do modeling again and maybe if i'm able to lose those 12 kilos before the 16th of february i think i said the 16th i will buy the nintendo switch for myself because i deserve it first of all i survived 2020 so it's already enough you know what i mean but yeah that's what i think i will check that and i will let you know what happened if you want me to speak about something let me know you know what i mean we are together <laughs> anyway i want you to like the video share subscribe as usual i mean we are together your favorite french youtuber <laughs> shiny queen as usual um and just stay there because soon we're gonna travel i'm gonna go to belgium so i think you will want to see that <laughs> see you on my next video may the grass and the love be with you